Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This is a shower model 0141-01 starter, 50 amp, 10 amp charger. It says 50 amps enough to start your car. It's not done it for me ever, but that's what it says. For 12 volt batteries. Now, it says battery 10 amps, charge 12 volts if you flip the switch down. Center position is off, up, it puts it in engine start and it's up to 50 amps. It'll start a lawnmower. It won't start your car. But right now, what I'm getting, I put a meter on these. There. And I'm making sure I got a connection here. Yep. Yep, I'm getting connection. Now when I turn on the charger, that should go to 12 volts. That's on the 50 volt scale. So it should come to about there, just past the 10. Hmm. I have my leads reversed. Just barely getting anything. So I'm thinking there's something wrong in here. So I'm going to open it up and look inside, see if I see any smoke. Now this charger was old when I bought it. I mean, really old when I bought it. Let's see. Well, there's a piece laying down there on the bottom. And I don't know exactly what it does. But I think these are two diodes. Little tiny ones. Okay, yeah, that's 12 volts AC there. I'm 
Now all of a sudden after moving a few wires around the charger is working. And all I did was touch the wires on the 110. Hmm. Well I can't say I fixed it. But I can say it's working. And I can spend a lot of time trying to figure out why it's working. Or I can just say, you know, it's working. The problem you had was it wasn't working and now it is working. So let's put the cover back on it and let it do its let's let it do its thing of charging batteries because no point fixing something that ain't broke no more. Sometimes she, sometimes, sometimes she works, and sometimes, and sometimes, she, sometimes don't. she don't. See? See? None? None? There she does. There she does. I guess if I push, I it, down I push hard, it down it hard, it works. If I just push it if down, push sometimes, it down, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't. If I snap it down, it works. Okay, enough done. I have a charger again. Well, we found out what the problem was. Pretty sure it's the switch. Just a three position switch that needs to be replaced. But it does work now. And since it works now, that means it will charge a battery now. So I'm going to take the battery out of the tractor and put it on the charger and see if I can get the uh, battery to charge up. When I get a chance, or if I find a switch, I think I might even have a switch in the cabinet back there, back in the storeroom. I'll change out that three position switch for a new one and we'll get some power going through this thing. Very little go wrong with these things unless you really do something nasty to them. Pretty simple. There's an old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, poking around in the wires got it started, but I realize now that the switch is bad, but the switch is working. So, I'm going to use the charger to charge the battery on the tractor. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.